Hi there, I'm George from Greenfeathers, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to clean your bird box. Now, I'm down here at Greenfeathers HQ, and we've got one of our bird boxes that's been in place for a couple of seasons now, and we want to think about cleaning it out. Now, why we clean out a bird box is quite important. So, we're doing this because we want to have a clean, fresh start. So, Nests can hold on to bits and pieces that we maybe don't want to go into the next nesting season. We don't want it to harbour disease or maybe hold on to parasites such as fleas etc that can maybe affect the next brood of chicks. So to give them the best possible opportunity we want to have a nice clean box. Now there is an appropriate time of year to be doing this. We want to not disturb any chicks or eggs that might still have potential to go on to become beautiful birds. So between September and January is when we're legally allowed to do this. Let's go have a little look inside this box and get it all cleaned out. I've removed the fronts of the bird box here to make it nice and easy. And you can see inside that we've got a little remnants of a nest here. Now, there's lots of creepy crawlies and bits and pieces that we maybe want to clear out. You sometimes can have spiders and different insects. So all I'm going to do now is pull this out. Now, we love all of our wildlife and we want to encourage and keep them going. So don't just chuck this in the bin with maybe whoever's living in there, spiders and alike. What we want to do is give them a chance to go out there and maybe be food for the birds and all the animals inside our garden. So go put it in the flower bed, go pop it under a hedge, go put it somewhere, okay? As you can see, inside this nest, we've got lots of little earwigs, some spider's nests, and lots and lots of little animals. I'm gonna go pop this down the garden. Now that we've removed the nest and we've popped it down the garden, we're into the cleaning part. So, we want to wipe down and remove any cobwebs or spider's nests inside there, and then we probably wanna give this a clean and disinfect. Now, the way to do this is just simply using boiling water. We don't want to use any kind of chemicals or anything that can affect the nest in that way or create any weird smells in there. We only need to use a little bit of boiling water and a rag just to wipe this down and get it nice and clean. Just a couple of points to cover off. Please, please, when cleaning your box with boiling water, be really careful not to scold yourself. And to go with that, because we're using water, just be really careful not to get any water on any of the electrical parts inside, the camera or if you have one of our lights. They're not waterproof, the box does the waterproofing part for you. Now that we've got it all lovely and clean, we want to go put this back together and pop it down the garden and get it all set back up. Before you go put your bird box back up on the tree, make sure that your camera is all lined up and nicely in focus before you go and mount it up. If you want more information on how to focus your camera, click the link to the video. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much for watching today.